Tesla has recently been calling all nickel miners to action since their recent Battery Day event, where the electric vehicle manufacturer announced they will be constructing and commissioning their own battery production lines to meet the growing demand. This demand is likely to create a supply chain crunch, which will be the limiting factor in their battery cell production. The importance of nickel in electric vehicle batteries comes down to increasing the energy density and reducing the total raw material cost of the battery. These improvements make each kilowatt hour of battery storage more cost competitive to manufacture and provide the vehicle with increased range and power. With nickel leading to 80% of the mass inside NCA and NMC cathodes, battery manufacturers are going to require increased raw material supplies. For example, a 60 kilowatt hour NMC 811 battery requires 5 kilograms of cobalt, 5 kilograms of manganese, 6 kilos of lithium, and 39 kilograms of nickel. So it is orders of magnitude greater than the other raw material components. Whilst investors have been scouring the world's penny stock miners to make a bet and try to make some quick cash on the news, BHP, the largest mining company in the world, with mature nickel mines, has been staring us in the face all this time. BHP is an Anglo-Australian diversified mining company with headquarters in Melbourne and has been increasing its nickel production from 70,000 metric tonnes in 2017 to 87,000 tonnes in 2019. Its Nickel West facility is a fully integrated mine-to-market nickel business. All nickel operations, including open-cut, underground mines, concentrators, smelter and refinery, are located in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia. This is a major value add throughout BHP's nickel supply chain, as most of its current production is sold to the international market as high-quality nickel metal. All this nickel is mined out of the ground, typically in the form of nickel sulphide and laterite ore. BHP undertake a series of refining steps to increase the nickel grade before exporting overseas. It is first dug out of the ground at the mine, crushed into finer particles, then the waste ore material is separated from the nickel concentrate in a flotation cell. It is then transported by rail to a smelter with a flash furnace producing nickel mat before undergoing a final refining step to produce metallic nickel in the form of powder and briquettes prior to being exported overseas. If you're enjoying this type of video, please give it a like to let me know and subscribe for more. BHP has also recently agreed to acquire the Honeymoon Well Nickel project from Norilsk Nickel. This acquisition includes the Wedgetail deposit, which contains a high-grade nickel sulphide resource and a high-quality disseminated sulphide resource in the Mount Keith and Yakambindi ore bodies. BHP have stated Nickel continues to be an essential input into new technologies that will improve the battery storage needed for renewables and electric vehicle manufacturing. Now since Tesla prefers to partner with companies that are environmentally friendly, BHP has signed a deal that would integrate renewable energy generation into the power supply of its Nickel West site operations. The sustainable energy solutions poised to be adopted by the mining firm include solar, wind and battery storage systems. This deal involves a 15-year power purchase agreement with Southern Cross Energy, extending the current arrangement between the two companies until 2038, while allowing the mining giant to supply a sustainable nickel to its growing customer base. BHP hasn't revealed which companies it will be supplying nickel to, however speculation is growing around Tesla being a major customer. BHP are in the study phase for the supply and emissions reduction initiatives, including an 18 megawatt solar and battery storage system at BHP sites. A 17 megawatt waste heme steam turbine system was also being evaluated at the Kalgoorlie smelter to provide low emissions electricity from furnace waste heat recovery. Edward Heigl, the assistant president at Nickel West, stated that BHP would make substantial investments towards upgrading its nickel production and processing facilities to increase its own supplies and that the company was well positioned to capitalise on the growth in nickel, which is a key ingredient in lithium-ion battery cathodes. He has also mentioned BHP sold 70% of its nickel to battery manufacturers around the world, making BHP one of the largest leading battery material suppliers. BHP note in their annual report that the nickel price per tonne increased 11% in FY20 compared to FY19. So this will make it more financially viable for BHP to produce more and expand their existing operations. Production in previous financial years has ranged from 80 to 87 kilotons and is expected to be 85 to 95 kilotons in FY21. 
It will be interesting to see if these production rates keep increasing with higher nickel demand moving forward. Other Australian miners have sought to expand their involvement in the production of raw materials for the clean energy sector, including an expansion by Rio Tinto of its production of copper and lithium. And Australian lithium producer Piedmont Lithium has already secured a deal to supply Tesla. So what do I think? Well, this is still mildly speculative at the moment. However, BHP is a serious, well-established mining company with both the mineral mine resources and financial resources backing them up. If Tesla are serious about signing deals for nickel supplies, BHP would be the easiest and fastest partner. Australian mining companies are the easiest to deal with on a geopolitical front whilst having world-class safety mining practices. BHP's mines are already established, allowing them to ramp up production much easier on existing mining licences. New entrants would have to apply for these licences, invest large capex up front into setting up the mining operation, which could take years and Tesla does not want to wait that long. So, if Tesla want larger quantities of nickel, BHP is well placed to make that happen. Let me know in the comments what you think of a potential nickel supply deal between Tesla and BHP looks like. Can this lead to more growth potential in BHP itself? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and I'll see you in the